So today we have with us the brand new BMW 3 Series LCI and me being one of the biggest BMW fanboys, I'm always intrigued to see the latest and greatest from BMW's workshop. And today we have with us in particular the 320LD. Now this particular model is almost 3 lakhs more expensive than the outgoing 320LD and I want to know why is there a price hike and is it even worth it? While the car is getting cleaned up, let me explain why is there almost a 3 lakh rupee price hike. First off, the new LCI 3 series doesn't come in any luxury line or sport line variant anymore, nor does it come in the normal wheelbase format. Now you can only buy the 3 series LCI in grand limousine format and only with the M Sport package regardless if it's petrol or diesel. The older gen didn't come with the M Sport package with the diesel. So if you add up the M Sport package to that, more or less the price is the same with the new LCI. <laughs> now I know this isn't a fair comparison but I just want to show you the differences in terms of cosmetics and interior between a pre-facelift car and the LCI. So this over here is a pre-facelift M340i. So there are a couple of bits that you don't get on the older 320LD or 330LI. So first off, the bumpers are totally different. This is the M Sport kit. So even if you get the LCI M340i, this is the same bumper kit that you will get with it. So as you can see, a pretty big difference. Now this is the M340i, so the grille is a little bit different, but I think so the 320LD pre-facelift has a similar grille setup to the LCI as well. The biggest difference, most no noticeable is the DRLs and the lights. So this light over here looks super aggressive. It has the classic angel light setup kind of thing and it has a kink over here whereas this is a more cleaner design and it looks kind of like BMW has inverted the design of the DRLs and yeah but I definitely like the newer look much better. Let's head over to the back now. The back end isn't much different to the older car. The rear tail lights are identical and yes again the bumpers have changed slightly with its design but yeah nothing major to talk about but once you step inside that's where the changes are very prominent. Now let's talk about the differences in the interior. So the main difference in the interior is of course the brand new iDrive 8 system. You get a massive dual screen setup. Uh, the graphics are crisp. I just love the way it looks and it looks super futuristic. The older system has now started to look quite old. Apart from that, there is no gear selector anymore. Now you get a small little lever over here, which is kind of disappointing because there is some satisfaction in pulling a lever while putting the car into drive or reverse or whatever. And apart from that, the AC controls are now are no longer with us anymore. Everything is integrated into this massive screen over here. More on that later. Hop into the pre-LCI model and yeah, it looks pretty dated now. And that's mainly due to the new iDrive 8 system. It just looks so futuristic and the lack of buttons does make it look futuristic but the usability of the car has definitely gone down because all of the AC controls are over here right at the touch of a button and you don't have to go through menus and all of that stuff. There is a presence of a gear lever like I said and yeah, feels very satisfying when you put it into drive. Apart from that, the interior is more or less the same. There hasn't been a massive difference in terms of that. Yes, you do get a digital instrument cluster in the pre-facelift model, but again, it's not as crisp, it's not as usable as the newer iDrive 8 system. So I'm not going to bore you too much and I'm just going to say it up front. The 320LD isn't the most exciting car to drive. I mean, very honestly, we've driven even the pre-facelift uh, 3 Series LCI in diesel and petrol forms and yeah, there's nothing really to talk about it because the driving dynamics as such haven't really changed. So let me talk about the stuff that actually does make a difference when you're driving. So first of all, it's of course the iDrive 8 system. Now there are a few things which are very annoying about it and there are a few things which are really really helpful about it. Let's start off with the annoying stuff. So first of all, as you can see and as I've told you, 
the climate control and all of the settings to change the climate control have now shifted into the screen and that is quite annoying when you're driving the car because you have to basically take your eyes off of the road and fidget it around over the screen to change the fan settings to change your temperature or whatever you want to do now i know you can get used to it because bmw has simplified it quite a lot just press on climate menu over here and just tap on the fan button to increase its speed or something so it is pretty easy to use but a tactile button would have been much better things that i like about the iDrive 8 well of course just look at it it's so crisp the wide screen setup for everything is just just looks amazing apple carplay android auto everything looks absolutely amazing looks better on this system than on your phone that's how good it looks so the iDrive 8 system is pretty easy to use and that's down to the fact that BMW hasn't removed the infamous scroller wheel which use which makes it so easy to use while driving you can just use the scroller wheel to navigate around the system and you have a couple of shortcuts here and there so that you know you can directly go to the place that you want to when it comes to the infotainment system now coming to the instrument cluster that has also changed quite a bit now the old system was great and all but this newer system now looks more futuristic has more uh, usability and yeah you got you get a ton of different things to do when it comes to the brand new iDrive 8 instrument cluster now quite a lot of things have changed on how to use it so this thing over here is the button that you use to flick through the sub menus of the main menu so you press this button over here and you get the table of contents that you want to flick through so you choose what you want click on it and then you use this button to flick through the sub menus of that menu little confusing but once you start driving the car and getting used to it you'll understand how to use it very easily so it stuff has changed quite a bit it's not the same as before that's down to change and the new 3 series lci definitely is quite the machine when it comes to this tech and you know just being flamboyant in that sense uh, but yeah apart from that not a big difference in terms of driving uh, comfort it's there it's going to be a little bit stiffer than the competition i would say because it's a bmw and they still have to think about the driving pleasure and of course once you start booting it a little put it in sports mode and stuff it does firm up a little bit the steering definitely gets more heavier so yeah if you want to have some fun with it you can do it now we've tried to slide around a little bit with this car and at low speed first gear second gear pulls uh, if you angle it correctly and if you boot it at the right time it does kick its tail out but it doesn't have enough power to keep that slide going on so this is definitely not like a proper sports car or anything like that you have to think about it as a luxury car as it is meant to be because it is one it's not an m340i or an m3 or even a 330i for the matter of fact it's a 320 ld it's supposed to be luxurious it's supposed to be comfortable and that's how you should be driving it but more than driving it i think so you should be sitting over there in the back seat so let's get down to that so this is where you want to be inside the 320 ld over here in the back seat behind the passenger seat because this is where you're going to be getting the most amount of space and the 320 ld almost has more or less a 100 mm extra wheelbase over the normal wheelbase 320d and when it comes to the 5 series it falls short just by around 5 to 6 mm that's how much longer the new 320 ld is compared to the normal wheelbase 320d and yeah you definitely see it if you park it beside a normal wheelbase 3 series it definitely looks longer and it looks like a limousine and yeah it's a very comfortable place to be and you have beautiful leather everywhere you have uh, soft touch materials everywhere i love the spec of this car blue with the tan uh, interior inside you get these cushions over here which are super soft and you know help you rest your head and take a nap if you want they're very comfortable the seating position is pretty nice maybe a little bit extra back support would have been nice but i'm not going to complain too much they have to save something for the bigger cars like the 7 or even the 5 series you get a massive panoramic sunroof 
and yeah it is a very nice place to be and i'm not going to be complaining that i did not get a 5 series because the new 3 series lci is a very impressive car over here in the back as well now yes there isn't a lot of things to do over here in the back i mean the 5 series gets a lot of cool gimmicks and stuff even the 7 series you get that massive armrest which has those tablets and all that you can play around with and if you look at the new 7 series you get these uh, tablets inside the door handles which are even more crazy than the older 7 series but yeah fold down this uh, armrest over here you have a bunch of cup holders no key hatch unfortunately and you get some really nice looking harman kardon speakers and the harman kardon speakers trust me one of the best speaker systems that i've heard in a car i mean they're really really impressive but the crazy tech stuff doesn't stop there the infotainment system is color matched and model matched to the car you are driving so the car you are seeing on screen is the exact same spec you are driving and plus the animations integrated are really cool if you brake flash your lights or if you start moving with the car the car on the screen does the same actions so what are my final thoughts on the new 3 series lci well if you have a older pre facelift car it really doesn't make sense to upgrade to the new lci the lci has some really big updates but not big enough to make a pre facelift customer trade in his car moreover the grand limousine has now put the 5 series in a very weird spot but overall this new 3 series lci is a very impressive machine and caters to all of your needs thank you so much for watching this video subscribe to the channel comment down below what you thought of the 3 series lci and follow us on instagram i will catch you in the next one